Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdul Malik Ahmed from Dean TV. I am here with Barber. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys doing? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So you know, we in Dean TV, we like to meet a lot of artists, up and coming artists, and artists that are really trying to do uh, to mix positive messages. Mm -hmm. So tell the the audience a little bit about yourself and what you're trying to do. Okay. So my name is Barber Harry. I'm trying to create mainstream hip-hop sound and well not trying what well, comes out like that and to keep it clean and positive I'm, I don't try to be overtly Islamic if it does come out it, it, that's what it is but I just try to be myself and make hip-hop and just keep it clean Mashallah. So tell us a little bit about your influences and how you started. How did you get into doing hip hop? Uh, I've actually, I saw you perform, I think, at Miss Nationals and uh, a couple other places. So uh, you got flow, you know what I'm saying? You got some flow. So tell us how you, that got started and how you uh, wanted to do, because a lot of people, you know, they go in different directions. So, yeah. Drake and Wayne probably are my biggest um, influences when it comes to rap and that's when I really started writing my own raps but obviously I have other influences like J. Cole, Lupe, Big Sean, GZ, T.I. Basically uh, all the hip hop artists like 2000 and up. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. So let me ask this. So <clears throat> obviously there's always this uh, uh, um, I guess urge to go mainstream and to, to to not keep it positive. What keeps you, you know, trying to do it positive and not going down another route? Honestly, like if I wasn't Muslim or I didn't believe there was like an afterlife, I wouldn't want to keep it positive because I would just want to have fun and I would just want to rap about whatever comes to me. Basically, be like an animal with the animalistic desires. That's like that's how I would be. But since there is an afterlife, and since I am Muslim, I have to keep it clean. Like it's not really a choice of creativity or art. It's just something that I have to do. It's not my. It's not really my choice. Gotcha. So tell us some of the some of the. Uh, I guess. Uh, I know you here at Isna doing your thing. Um, tell us a little some of the other places that you've you've got a chance to perform at and and, and I, I know I saw you at Mist and a couple other places. Yeah, so um, I saw when I was of course doing the music that wasn't clean. I would perform at hookah lounges and bars and like venues and banquets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, when I switched over to like super like um islamic music then i was performing at like msa's isna and mist and like uh mosque and like local muslim events um or islamic events but then i started doing like other stuff like when i when i started making it less overtly islamic i started doing like um ill muslims um i got just i just got flown out to houston two weeks ago i did a show in houston toronto um we went out to cali and they were gonna have me do a show there didn't happen but that's yes that's, that's good so yeah. you're getting around alhamdulillah so let me let me ask you this um you know a lot of artists they kind of have a vision you know like where where they want to be where they want to get to um who they want to influence who's their target audience obviously you, you know you you went uh you went from one extreme and then you kind of went to the totally muslim it seems like you're now you're kind of yeah trying to get it positive around you know everybody so yeah. tell us a little bit about that so where i want to go is i want to go to the top so i want to be at the very top of like hip-hop charts billboard charts um like I don't know if there's an Islamic billboard charts, but I want to be at the top of that too. So yeah, I just want to be at the top and I want to hit everybody. Like I've been inside like the trap house and have had uh, people like j jumping and dancing to like my song called Kalima, which is like about bear witnessing to God. So like, and I've also had um, people also in like a Muslim setting listening to like my haram stuff and they and they're and they're dancing to it. So like I feel like I can like get everybody. I just because I have the talent and I have the sound and it's like all universal feelings. It's just that I got to keep like finding that middle ground. Right. Yeah. And I'm impressed that you and other artists who have that have that um, 
skill yeah. to just do the haram stuff. Yes. But they chose, they choose yeah. to go in the right path. And I admire any artist that are, that's trying to do that in, in the right direction. Let me ask uh, two more questions. I guess one, you know, I, 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 you know, you write your stuff, right? You write your own stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, what is, what do you say to those um, artists out there who are trying to? Uh, I met one artist today. He was like, "Man, I don't write. I, I can. I have vocals. I can sing, but I don't write." What do you say about those people who, you know, who are lacking maybe in creativity and they mm -hmm. want to? Um, uh, any ideas about like how they can start writing and start producing unique work? Because us as Native Dean, we we love to see people doing their own stuff. You know? What yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Well, when it comes to doing like original material mm -hmm. and being creative, yeah. um, first thing. I would say is no one's completely original or completely creative. So take something that you already like or and like build upon it with your own experiences. Like you can literally take like let's say your favorite song is Tupac Dear Mama. Um, you can just find something, a beat that it's kind of similar to it that you like or create something kind of similar to it. I'm not saying the exact same thing, same instruments, just the same feel. Maybe it just gives you the same feel and then rap about your mom and make a song about your mom. But you don't have to say it like how he said. You can say how you feel about your mom and like be specific about your own life. Because if you're specific about your own life and you say specific personal things about your own life, then it's going to be original because nobody else l lived your life. Right, right, yeah. Tell us about your website or mm. where people can get to know you. Mm. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all that. Um, I'm on, sorry, my team <laughs> my, my team just came out of nowhere and I just saw them up there. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> but um, there my name is Bobber Harry. Um, you can find my stuff at blessedmusicgroup.com. Um, my YouTube is Blessed Music Group. And my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that is just Bobber Harry. B-A-B-A-R-H-A-R-R-I-E. But everything can be found at my website at blessedmusicgroup.com. All right, guys. This is Abdul Malik Ahmed from Native Dean on Dean TV. Let's support these artists. Alhamdulillah, who's trying to do something positive. Assalamu alaikum. This Dean TV video was brought to you in part by Penny Appeal USA, Small Change, Big Difference, by Islamic Relief, Working Together for a Better World, and by Guidance Residential, the number one Islamic home financer in the U.S.